uh, what will happen during the relaxation of the muscle so that, that depends on the duration of the neural stimulus so if this uh, because the skeletal muscles are under your conscious control as long as you want to do an activity that is a neural stimulation is there but there should be other factors involved as well so there is the amount of the calcium there for example not enough calcium the muscle contraction may not take place and the amount of the ATP is important because even if you want to do something but um, not enough energy there so the muscle cannot contract for example you want to walk five miles and then you are getting tired and then you cannot go all the way so the amount of energy is not there uh, to, to go all the way despite the fact that you want to do it so um, once the neural stimulus stops okay then the calcium goes back uh, to the sarcoplasmic reticulum so the calcium level falls and um, uh, then it means that the troponin is not attached to the calcium level anymore so now here is the troponin goes back to its normal um, site and the troponin goes and covers the active side of uh, actin so um, the, the myosin head cannot attach to the active side of acting anymore and this is this whole summary of what I talked about it so I will not go over it again so on this side uh, this is the contraction that is happening and this is the reverse of the muscle relaxation so you can stop the video and you can see uh, what is going on and try to explain what is going on so this I purposely I don't want to explain it so you can explain and see how much you learned so far so a different topic that we want to talk about it, this is about the muscle tension the muscle tension depends on the resting length of the muscle fiber okay so at the time of stimulation how much is the length of the muscle fiber and the second thing is about the frequency of the stimulation so let's talk about the frequency of the stimulation first there's five different ways the muscles uh, are stimulated depends you know how fast the signals are coming the first one is called twitches twitches are uh, happening only once these these are spontaneous involuntary you did not decide to do it it can happen locally at the lower motor neuron so lower motor neuron means uh, a spinal nerve or a cranial nerve so it's outside of the central nervous system outside of the spinal cord and the brain and one um, motor unit will contract so I will come back to the motor unit which is a few muscle fibers they contract and they, then they, they relax so it depends on the type of the muscle so this is one time is contraction or, or relaxation these are the muscles in the lower um, limb um, so the duration of that depends how many muscle fibers are activated so to which is what one time involuntary uh, low uh, local uh, stimulation of the muscle and that's it a trip is that when the stimulus is less than uh, 50 per second so what happens here there's a stimulus happens it can cause increase in tension then the muscle goes back to relaxation then it increases and it goes back to relaxation but every time uh, the, the stimulus is there there is some increase in the amount of tension because you know, not all calcium can enter back to sarcoplasmic reticulum so there is some increase in the tension uh, but you can see the tension is very low here uh, wave summation is the same idea but the amount of stimulation is more than 50 per second so here the stimulation is there so the tension increase the muscle tries to go back to uh, relaxation but it cannot go back to the baseline here it went to back to baseline but here it cannot go back to baseline again so then you have another stimulation so the tension increase 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 until you stop then it goes back to the baseline and relaxes and the incomplete tetanus same idea as summation but you continue stimulation until you reach a, a plateau um, phase and here um, the muscle tension is uh, much higher than before but the muscle is still relaxes a little bit in between the stimuli the muscle still relaxes a little bit and in complete tetanus it's very 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 fast the stimulation is so fast the muscle cannot relax so the tension increases very rapidly and it goes all the way to the maximum and it stays 
in the maximum uh, until uh, you go back uh, to relaxation. So this happens in the, in the muscle physiology. Uh, it can also happen during different type of muscle activity and also it can happen in abnormal states uh, like uh, tetanus, uh, which is a bacterial infection. So the second factor was the length tension relationship. So if you look at it here, this area, that area produces 100% uh, uh, maximum tension. And this area is called optimal uh, uh, resting length. So what does it mean here that uh, for all the heads of the myosin, you have an area of the actin that the head of the myosin can attach to the actin uh, and it can move the thin filament toward the midline. Okay, all areas. But if you look at it this way, so now the thin filaments are all the way to the midline there. Uh, the head of the myosin can attach, all heads of myosin can attach to the thin filament, but uh, there is not much uh, edge zone left here. No H zone, okay? Uh, so it can produce some tension, but not as much, but not as much. Look at it here. The thin filaments are across the midline. There is no H zone there. So it cannot produce any tension here. For example, your muscle is totally contracted. It cannot produce more, okay? The other way around is that here, in this area, that some myosin heads can attach to the thin filament, some of them. See, these ones cannot do it, but these ones can. So now, when the muscle contraction takes place, that these, muscle, these uh, thin uh, filaments can move this way toward the midline, but only a small part of it. Then you, have, you need another one to move it a little bit more. So this is why the amount of tension is not as much. And if the mu muscle is very stretched, then there is no connection between the uh, thick filament and thin filament. So even if you stimulate the muscle, these thin fil thick filament um, the heads, uh, you know, the head of the myosins cannot at attach to the, thick, uh, to the thin filament. It cannot attach to the actin. So nothing will happen. So that's why the tension is almost zero here, or it will go to zero if the muscle is stretched too much. 